All right, we're back. Hey, Angel Asakara, how's it going? Good to see you. Let me uh, update the game and do a tweet and all that fun stuff here. One sec. Very nice, Angel Asakara. So I believe we need to go to the submarine, go underwater and find the key. Yeah. Which I don't remember where the key is, but I think I can figure it out. I think it's actually near the City of the Ancients. Not yet. <laughs> Not quite, anyway. You don't like descend right into it. It's like a little tunnel where no light can get to. I think is the hint they give you. Nope, there it is. Cool. Easy mode. Eco Eco, how's it going? You hear this sound in the background? It's very similar to the sound in uh, Earthbound. Here in the desert. A five as a submarine. Ten doesn't. Nine doesn't. Eight doesn't. Six has the serpent trench, but that's like the three of you sharing a diving helmet or something weird like that. Is there one in three? It's clearly one I'm forgetting. Number five in this one. There is one in one. Played one and two in uh, Dawn of Souls or Birth of Souls or something. It's usually called Blindna, or Asuna will work as well. Not Blindna. Not every game has a unique Just Cure Blind spell, but if it does, it's usually called Blindna. Talk to this guy. We're going to talk to him more in disc three when we do the chocobo training. Chocobo dude. <laughs> Eye drops will work too. I think this dude tells you how to breed the different kinds of chocobos. I don't remember what prompts him to remember. It might be a certain number of racing or a certain amount of time passing since you first meet him. Otherwise, There'd be no way to know what you need to do to get the best chocobos, right? I 
Here we go. Although if you're playing six uh, burner, you really don't need to worry about blind. It's actually uh, glitched. Blind doesn't do anything in Final Fantasy VI, either in the SNES or the GBA versions. It's supposed to give you a 50% chance to miss, but it doesn't work. I think the Brave New World patch fixes that. The cool ROM hack. Key in the music box. Right. Thankfully, we've got somebody who can float. It's funny, D Rock. <laughs> Pretty rare chance of getting Crusader. I think they're weighted, I don't think it's just a random chance of getting anything. Maybe inside. It's kind of clever. <laughs> Is it really just equal? Hmm. I wasn't sure if it was weighted or not. Oh man, it worked! Remember, she was trying to summon Holy. She has the white materia. It's the ultimate defensive magic. Hey, Katie, how's it going? No props. I think we're going to pop out of here and something exciting is going to happen. We need a cool boss fight. What's up? Graphics, tab in if you're all tabbed. See the cool cutscene. It was awesome to see a bunch of old friends. Got to go to all my favorite restaurants in Columbus, which there are many. Glad to be back. Sister A to Midgar. 
just so happens to be directly facing the North Crater. Columbus, Ohio. Marivas, Kate Sith. Okay. I'll pick one of them to use the ultimate weapon then. It makes sense. Have you been, Katie? Did you get to do any streaming while I was out of town? I just turned on my auto host, so I didn't see anybody. Destiny God, how's it going? Uh oh. Yeah, Edgar's probably going to be using tools most of the time anyway, so that makes sense. About to be some graphics. Well, oh, ish. Maybe not actually. Oh shit, it's one of the weapons. Diamond weapon. Diamond weapon's pretty cool looking. Strange signal? This person? Seems like Catchit's written as having a certain uh, accent, but I can't figure out what it's supposed to be. Hey, mine for fish. How's it going? Maybe he's southern. Maybe he's just full-on Texas, and Sid's just Texas astronaut. I'm gonna go deal with this, like, diamond weapon thing. Kate's a- or, uh, Catchy talks in Admin Children, right? No, that's not super helpful. They got some pretty bad voice actors for that movie. Southern Cat shit. Yeah, Sid's like a space cowboy. Let's do it. Fight weapon, we're gonna get our W item material in a little bit. We're gonna wait for a really long time for weapon to get there. So we can't like move into it, yeah. <laughs> I 
On a steel horse I ride Come on. There isn't a way here. Talk amongst yourselves while we wait for Diamond Weapon to get here. Keep singing Bon Jovi songs. Shot through the heart. You're to blame. You give love a bad name. I can't say, like, we're halfway there in any context without having someone sing that song. Diamond Weapon's halfway there. Whoa! Just living on a prayer. Come on, buddy. Walk just a teensy bit faster. Oh man, bad medicine. That's one I haven't heard in a while. It's usually like... Living on a prayer or uh, that other one. Wanted. Bad Medicine's a good song. Whoa ho ho, check it out. It's like bad medicine. Come on, buddy. There we go. Shibbity ba, shibbity da. Doom boom boom. The big guard action. The Bahamut Zero animation is pretty sweet. You only get this if you get all the huge materia. Not quite as absurd as Sephiroth Supernova. Still pretty crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys are gonna make me associate Bon Jovi with Diamond Weapon. <laughs> And vice versa. Hey, Steeks, welcome. Nice. Yeah, that costs a lot of MP. <laughs> I feel like that should do more damage than that, but alright. I guess I'm not complaining. I did zero damage. Is he gonna use trying, maybe? Bahamut. Yeah, I've always said Bahamut, but I'm... that would make sense. Bahamut. Go ahead and count it down, buddy. <laughs> Baja Blast. No, uh... Let me write that down so I remember. What is it? FF7 controversy video. Got it. I forgot to change up Cloud's equipment after getting a Mama Slash. Should be okay. Here we go.
Ouch. Holy shit. Dorkly? Okay. A white wind's not gonna be super great, although maybe we can drop an elixir now. And, uh, Sick. Of course. It wasn't intentional, I promise. Causes attacks to do or not do damage against this guy. For so often, physical attacks hit and sometimes they don't. Oh. See the twist of Sid being a white mage? I think it's totally fixed. I think you can lose in this fight. I know the ending is fixed. Maybe it has to do countdown every so often though. Maybe it like alternates or something. Who knows? Shit, you get a lot of AP for that fight. And experience. Graphics, if you're alt tab, tab in. Cool diamond weapon scene. He's got like a giant like wolf or condor ahead. Clever with that shadow. Oh, sure. What you got? Finally, Shinra shows that they're not completely useless. Should just be seven, right? Yeah, one of them should be destroyed. I think it's the one that the cannon's facing. Shoot a bunch of souls at it. I like how the power goes out, it's a nice touch. Spirit bomb!
Do you not have enough hair to do a hair flip? Makes sense it would attack uh, Midgar because it's using so much energy. Captain Striker, welcome. Alright, going to Midgar. We're good. Can't cheese ultimate weapon. Also Barrett's. That'd be very infrequent to hear this song. Hey. Cinder is good for something. This is where I would have guessed Rufus dies, but I think he turns up super injured in Advent Children. I think that'd be pretty bad for Rufus staying alive. Staying alive. Uh 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 uh. No, let's go to let's go to Midgar first. I think we have to go to Midgar, I don't think it's optional. Maybe we have to do this first. <laughs> Chill out, catchy. Hojo, right? The game ever explicitly tells you that Reeve is catchy, but they make that pretty obvious when he's the only person in the room that it could be. He's crazy, son of a bitch. something big cat. Oh, look how sad he is. Oh, never mind. Because they do tell you straight up.
Be a pretty big deal then. Alright, we're on it. We can beat the Midgar section before the end of the session today. Man, I'm shocked that they had the restraint to not include Scarlet in Crisis Core. I mean, look at her sprite even in this game. It's pretty absurd looking. I think her boobs are bigger than her head. You can still control Ketchy from here. Heck yeah. They're probably smart not to let us stick around. Oh, I guess they do let us stick around. It's cool. We'll go straight to Midgar. Now's not the time to go chocobo racing. Bigger fish to fry. It's not on Sid's theme, I love this song. Right. Glow burner, Godspeed. Sweet. Although we can get in by land, because we got that Sector 5 key, but it's cool. I don't need to know that. Nice, Katie. Are you doing an arena run? Or just like the last four play games you've done? All right. A lot of that's luck of the draw. Keep the same party. Never done very well in arena, which is a shame because everyone's on equal footing. Right. Graphics again. Lots of graphics at the end of this too. It's cool. I've heard that if you do a Twitch plays Hearthstone, those decks tend to do very, very, very well. A lot of people in chat tend to make good decisions with cards. A huge chunk of the fun for me is uh, picking the cards. I guess when you're spending money though. Right, mine for fish? Especially on disc 3. Mostly cutscenes. This place smells gross. Look how excited cat shit is. Let's do it. Oh man. Forgot that it played bombing mission again. 
I love this song. One of the best songs in Final Fantasy in general. Ah, uh, keep playing bombing mission. Good choice, D-Rock. If what we discussed, Animal Crossing may have not been the best choice. Mario Kart's a good game to have digitally, have with you all the time. Oh, can I not get to the other one? Hold on, guys. Is this all one big long elevator or ladder? It's all one big ladder. I don't think I can like, get down on that platform and climb the other ladder to get to that green chest. Okay, I'm moving over to the left and taking that one out. Mario Kart's a game where it's a pretty good chance you'll run into somebody else with a DS that has Mario Kart. I didn't bring a DS with me to Columbus and I like missed out because uh, random chance the person sitting next to me and my wife on the airplane was playing Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm, which is a really cool like rhythm game for the 3DS that I highly recommend. Uh, and it's really hard to find people who have it to street pass. I was like, nah, I'm not going to see anyone with a DS in Columbus that I need to bring it. Incorrect. I was wrong. It just hurt Anything nice for that? It doesn't do anything special, so... Good things. Got a ways to go before we get quadruple cut. I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. Like I said, I have to play it every day. As soon as I miss a day of Animal Crossing, I give up on it. Might still be stuff I can get up top. I'll go back up and check here in a sec. Yeah, it reminds me of an enemy in uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Little dudes with the manholes and the airship levels and the tank levels, particularly in World 8. Yeah, man, I'm really excited. I have it sealed in the box right over there. I just gotta get that uh, capture kit to arrive. <laughs> I emailed Katsukiti for an update, and they're like, "Hey, like, we just shipped the orders that we were, were placed on like February 20th." So I'm like, oh, okay. I think I might place mine on like March 15th, so I probably still have a while to go before they send it. As soon as we get it, though. Late time, as well as Zelda time. Really excited for the Zelda chronological playthrough. Able to pull that off in two weeks. Got that leveling up we just did. But part of next week Wednesday is going to be Final Fantasy XIV first playthrough. If anyone else is interested in joining us, uh, let us know. So at least be Apex, myself, Flarewing, possibly Matzo. Uh, other than that, though, Wednesday is usually a free play day, and I don't have anything booked. Um, for now, I was thinking of just doing Final Fantasy VI until it's Final Fantasy XIV time. If anyone had a lesser-known console with fewer games that they'd like to see, since we usually do like a console day on Wednesdays, let me know. Fingers crossed, we'll see. 
use. That's not an improvement. Double cut himself. Oh, Smash Brothers would be cool. Yeah, good choice. I'll give Sega a whole day, one day. Probably do Genesis game every 15 minutes and still get a whole day out of it. This is one of the few Final Fantasies that has no way outside of RNG manipulation to slow or stop random encounters. <laughs> that few Sega Saturn games. Dreamcast might work. Because uh, I'd be doing Shenmue as a full playthrough, we could do it Crazy Taxi. It's a good Dreamcast game. It would be from 12 till 3, so 3 hours before Final Fantasy XIV would start. So if I do a game every 30 minutes, that would be uh, 6 games. Hey, Behemoth! Steel as well doesn't work with 2x cut, I think. It might be like magic only. Nice. No meteor for you, bro. It might be Comet in this one. Not sure. Alright, moving along for reals now. Chess we can get. Letters, so many long letters. Ah, oh, mother. Damn it, Bobby. Why does Shinra keep behemoths in their basement? Hey, Flam, my kite. How's been? Good to see you again. Sell propane and propane accessories. The woman who voices Bobby is on uh, that I know that voice documentary. She's pretty great. Yeah, it's really good. Yep, know that voice. Big fan. There's Meteor Rain. Now can I skip from Meteor Rain straight to... I don't think so. Let me equip it first. Got an Omnis Slash in here somewhere. There it is. I think they gotta finish getting stuff first. I have a friend from high school who went into voice acting. He's had a tough time of it, but it's his dream. It 
It'd be a pretty cool industry to get into. They seem like really cool people. They have the secret celebrity thing going on, right? Where you go to like Comic Con and everybody knows who you are, but walk around in public without the paparazzi bobbing you. Prove wrong. The sequence is pretty heavy on the random battles. Excuse me. Save point, that makes me think that's the way forward, right? So let's go down the ladder first. That's suspicious. Strike? Very nice. Good job, Sid. Max Ray. Hmm. All right. Looks for me. Yeah, an FF6 uh, blind is broken, so no more reason to invest in curing it. Besides, you can just equip a relic. If you have a relic that removes a status effect, you can equip it to remove the status effect and then unequip it immediately. Kind of a neat trick. Don't think there's any reason to go all the way over here, but... Yeah, that's where we fell originally when we were trying to cross, so... Assassin, second, the uh, first one. Assassin. Hey, Gamer Shadow, how's it going? Good to see you. This is a pretty big map. I think warp is like a teleport storm, it takes you out of the map that you're on. Get him. Warp is actually a super important ability in Final Fantasy XI. Uh, hey Murph Boston, how's it going? Only black mages had access to it, and it would return you to your home instance. Uh, so it was usually a really, really long walk to get to your home instance. So you needed to have either a black mage in your party or someone whose sub job was a black mage after you finished doing like a dungeon so they could send you home and save you a long trip. Curious to see what kind of that, what kind of Final Fantasy XI stuff is held over in Final Fantasy XIV next Wednesday. If you're interested in checking it out, next Wednesday from three until 
7.30 Pacific Time. Alright, so we're going to do a really long run all the way to the back of this area. Purpose here is to get the uh, W item materia. Which is pretty great. We're getting a bunch of random battles on the way, but that's okay. I feel like Sid probably could have killed him in just his one hit, but... I suppose you get a crit, though. What's up, buddy? Nope. We're going all the way down. I think I'll use the W item trick. Glitch. It's just convenient. Lets you duplicate items. So you can have like unlimited elixirs. The alternative is to find enemies that you can steal elixirs from and grind out and fight them over and over and over. It's kinda neat the way it works too. Notably it doesn't make anything like way easier. Just I think it just saves time. Like I can't think of any I guess if you could cheat like, really cheat. Uh, there's an enemy that you can fight that steals your items, and if you let him steal your speed source, I think it is, any of those source items that increase your stats, uh, they let you use them in combat so you can duplicate them with W item, and then that could get bonkers, because you can give yourself, like, 99 power sources and increase somebody's attack stats so that they do max damage with every hit. Actually, pretty key in the uh, speedruns of this game. They will do that. That should kill, right? Double cut, man. If we can get it up to quadruple cut, that would be great. Working on it. Cool. Murph, Camera Shadow, how you guys been? It's the chest. Power source. Speak of the devil. Doing alright, just got back from uh, vacation visiting friends and family in my hometown of Columbus, Ohio. Excited to be back to streaming. Chest. I'll just keep doing the same thing. Did I already have a guard source? No, I just left a space open, that makes sense. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Dizzy actually, he and I go back to when I was like, I don't know, nine years old. We played this uh, Korean MMO together. He gave me some initial tips when I started streaming. He was already partnered. He's a good guy. There's W item. Hey. Probably give it to somebody.
Alright. Let's go stop at the save point. Work our way all the way back. The tent. Okay. Use the rest of these. I guess duping Mega Elixirs is pretty cheesy. There's an enemy you can get to that gives them to you, though, so. So, this is gonna be our last run in with the Turks in this tunnel. So, let me give it a try. So, I think the way you do it is you use one and then you do. Yeah, see, so it puts it back in your inventory. The game doesn't remember that you were not supposed to have one. It only works for items that you're actually allowed to use in battle, though. So probably do this. I'll probably do a Dazers. For the Ruby Weapon fight. I think I still have in here. There you go, and that's the W item glitch. Let's see. Dazers, Dazers. You don't need 99 of those, but a bunch of them would be nice for uh, my dude Ruby Weapon. Yeah, so like, you go to use it, it reduces the count by one, and then when you hit cancel to go use the second item, it doesn't realize that it's refunding an extra item to you. That's basically what's happening. There you go. 99 Mega Elixirs. Mega elixirs heal your entire party to full health and to uh, full MP. They're quite good. Cool. Now for the long walk. I don't think you ever actually want to go left. Be sure you don't. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do it with Phoenix Downs, like have 99 of those. Yeah, so check it out, you get the W item materia, which lets you use two items, so I could do, like, Elixir, Elixir, right? So when I press back, though, if I, I'm canceling out of the second Elixir, it gives it back to me, it doesn't realize that it's refunding one extra item. So I'm hitting confirm, cancel, confirm, cancel, confirm, cancel, confirm, cancel. And it's slowly increasing my count of items. I can do the same with Phoenix Down. Just like rapidly tapping my two index fingers between cancel and confirm. It's a way to get infinite gill essentially at the end of the game. But at this point, like, it doesn't matter. The only battle that it could conceivably actually affect the outcome is uh, Ruby Weapon and Emerald Weapon. Or it would be really nice to have infinite Mega Elixirs, or... Even those fights, though, are pretty dependent on you, like, keeping an unbroken Mime chain of W summon. So, like, if you break that chain to use a Mega Elixir, you're kind of in trouble. Well, that's one of the less cheesy glitches, which is kind of a time saver. The thing that speedrunners will do... They'll abuse that glitch. Uh, and normally you can't use that glitch to duplicate like speed sources or power sources. Because they're not usable in battle. So a speedrunner abuses a second glitch that makes those items usable in battle. What they do is they go find a the burglar enemies that are outside Eris's chapel in Midgar. They steal an item from you and you kill them, they drop the item that they stole and it goes back in your inventory. But the game gets confused when it goes back in your inventory, decides it must be a usable item. So you try to sell everything in your inventory so that the only thing they could possibly steal from you is the source that you want them to steal. 
Uh, and then you kill one of them to get it back, and then you do the W item glitch to duplicate it. So they'll use that to get their speed stat maximized, then their power stat maximized, that way they'll always go first, and they'll always do max damage. Without having to grind for experience. Pretty RNG heavy, like, there's a pretty good chance that the, uh, the guys you're fighting will steal both of the items and screw it up for you. But we're not going to be doing that here. First of all, we don't need to. thought about going and doing, like, a kinda, sorta legit fight against, uh... Ruby weapon. Legit in that we'll just hit him a bunch of times. <laughs> uh, sort of legit in that we'll keep spamming dazers on him so that he remains paralyzed for the whole battle. And go fight Ruby weapon first instead of grinding for a gold chocobo since that'll just give us a gold chocobo. I've never done it that way. I've only ever gotten Knights of the Round beat Emerald Weapon, and then go in and beat Ruby Weapon when he, the rewards you get aren't actually that useful. I might need to double check and see how many hit points he actually has though, because I think it's some absurd number. Could work though if we go in the Northern Cave and find some movers and tonberries and level up uh, Double Cut so that everybody can have Quadruple Cut. The main advantage of paralyzing Ruby Weapon, though, is that he doesn't counterattack anymore when you use Knights of the Round, so... Almost out of here. Long walk, just for the W item material, but it's worth it, I would argue. So since this is such a long walk, you'd think, is it really worth it to a speedrunner to go all the way through here? They typically, if they're doing a glitch run, they'll use another glitch that lets you, like, continue your same game, but using the save location of another save game that you have in your memory card. So. They'll make a few saves, like they'll have one that's inside the Northern Crater. They'll have a save that's right next to the W item materia. They'll do like some quick resets to warp there. There's a glitch called a Yuffie Warp. I think it's exclusive to the PC version, you can't do it in the PS1 version that we're playing here. Money too? Pretty good. Right, we're almost done here. Here we go. Turk time. Try to steal as many things as we can. Turk's theme is pretty sweet. I have to double check to make sure someone had steel, but it should be okay. I know we have a weird relationship. It doesn't even give us boss music. Can you believe it? Alright. So the hope is someone still has steel. I forgot to check. And no one does, so we'll just live with it. I forget what you can steal from them. Don't think it's anything that's like earth shatteringly good. We can live without it.
I'm sure we're gonna get to see like a peta flare. While this long animation is running, let me double check what you can steal from the Vector Castle, nice burner. How's it going? You did? What'd you get? The secret? Yeah. What's that? Why did you name them? Because uh, Hapax said, Patrick, uh, called Tifa Tifa by mistake, so it's been running jokes and stuff. Hi, Hapax. Actually, make it so I can hear you from the other ear. D Rock? Like his first name? Derek. I knew it was a D, but not still. Derek Thomas Rock. I don't know if that's actually his last name. Corinth, how's it going? Welcome. I've seen summon animations. Oh, I Sure. Yeah. This is from that hot sauce place? Yeah. Sweet. Scorpion pepper salt. They had ghost pepper salt, but I got you the scorpion pepper salt. Nice. I remember you liked that scorpion and hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited to try that. There's a ton of it in here, too, which is a huge advantage. Hot sauce guy. I like uh, seasoning better, right, too. I know. I was like, you had a shit ton of hot sauce. Well, it's harder to go through hot sauce. You can't put it on everything. You can put this on it. It's, like, it's wet. Um. Bye, guys. Yeah, it was the Turks. Yeah, hot seasoning salt knife for fish. Pretty stupid. Stoked. <laughs> Tot hot. Alright. How was uh, the Exploratorium? Cool. <laughs> Chief. There's a fork in the road. Wanna walk in? Yeah, it's good walk. This feels like the way forward. Check it out. Hey, there's a person. It's Tufa. Tits McGee. Andrea called Tifa Tits McGee in her game. She called Eris Kenny. Cloud was serious? Yeah. Because he's so serious. So serious and also serious is a type of cloud. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. Is it serious, yeah. but let's know. Yeah, it, it's like a portmanteau or whatever. Yeah. But uh, uh, yes, Katie, you are you are correct. You're waiting on the remake. I am waiting on the remake. Although I tried Crisis Core. <laughs> Crisis Core is pretty sweet. I think you'd enjoy it. It's pretty I, easy. I cannot play those without them. I just cannot get. Uh, mm -hmm. You named Red 13 Simba? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Those are all the characters that you got. Barrett was Bubba, I think. Hey Robert Nickel, how's it going? See you again. 
Uh. Never know till you look. It's worth checking. Uh, so I can get Ketchy's ultimate weapon. Ketchy. Ketchy. It's a robot cat riding a robot Moogle. That's catchy. Looks like a... Oh. Hmm. Gogum's in Simba, Gogum's one of the... He yeah, is doing a... Good choice, Gogum. <laughs> Blind playthrough of this game. Yeah, we named him Cat Shit. His name is Catchy, which is another weird Gaelic thing that's hard to pronounce. It actually came up this morning at brunch. It's spelled C A I T S I T H. It's pronounced Catchy. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tempest Incognito. Welcome. You might be this far. <laughs> it was at one point. Yeah, you did it when it was a puzzle mode. At this point, though, I'm just coming back here to get an item. So the blood trail. That's a good question. It might still. I'm actually, I'm not sure if it lets me up there. <laughs> yeah, I would hope someone would have cleaned it up by now. I've never checked though. This is so irritating when you come here the first time. One of these has uh, one of the characters' ultimate weapons, and you find it earlier in the game. And Cloud's like, "No." I don't have room for a megaphone in my inventory. Like, you don't have room for a megaphone in your inventory of unlimited bullshit items? Come on, just pick it up and put it in there with everything else, dude. Uh, so you have to come back this late in the game to get his ultimate weapon. I'll go up to the floor and see if there's still a blood trail or if they heard some things. Oh, also, Rob has good taste. Mm-hmm. Indeed he does. He sort of watched when I was playing what Okami. What the fuck? What a fish? It's a sword dance. They're there. I know it's very traumatic. Dude, more people should do the Earthbound thing. What's that? Like, why did you even have to? Yeah, I know, out? right? No, I haven't played an RPG. Does, does anyone know of an RPG other than Earthbound that just lets you automatically win a battle when it would be trivial for you? Yeah, you're gonna one hit them. Yeah. Why waste everyone's time? Right, I agree. Well, I'm not allowed to leave to see if it's still bloody, but I bet you that it is. Yeah, gets it. Come on, guys. Shinra, it's been like four months. <laughs> like. You've never gone up back up to check this? No, I haven't. You're welcome. <laughs> I guess they weren't expecting that you would do that. Yeah, that they don't care about the disgusting blood trail in exactly. their offices. They're it's vampires. not, it's not no, hygienic, not man. It's not hygienic. And. Hygienic, it's hail. I'm more recently clean. Anyone in this party ever seen them take a shower? Take a shower in Super Mario RPG. That looks like he's halfway in the process of becoming a donkey. Because <laughs> he has hooves. <laughs> they're like Popeye arms. No, they're hooves. <laughs> he's becoming a donkey. My he wife. A bad boy and can't handle the Final Fantasy VII. Graphics. She didn't grow up with them. I'm fine with them. I like Popeye donkey men. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> it's funny because the cutscenes are all over the place in quality. Like sometimes oh, they'll look realistic. Hate women. <laughs> There's no right answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call, mine for fish. Whoa, bombing mission is weird through only one ear. Alright, so I think it's this next area on the left side. Is the I don't know, she's doing missions. <laughs> Being useful. Did he die? Yeah, it was a while ago. We're almost, that was the end of disc one. This is like the last mission before disc three. I didn't name her Kenny, I named her Urus. Oh my god, they killed Urus! <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Appreciate that. That's the best way to do is just dodge it. 
Oh, you. I've actually played this game with every, well, almost every possible combination of party members. Almost never use Sid, though, not because I don't like Sid, but because you get him so late in the game that I haven't invested him. Yeah. I think... It's a trap! <laughs> I think, uh... The game actually does, like, up-level them, but it's still like a man... I haven't even seen you before. I got all the other dudes that I've been spending time with. What you're saying is you won't sit with the dudes at lunch. Oh, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Busting my chops over here. Maximum chop Jesus busting. Christ, did he have them in his pockets? <laughs> yes, of course. They're like, let's go into your body. It actually happened in Final Fantasy VI. There's a part where like you get a diving helmet because you need to go under under the water, and there's like four people in your party. They're like, oh, whatever. We'll just go inside of your body, and then we can just all share this one diving helmet. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see stuff about. Just get into my body. Oh, what's this? I don't know yet. Heidegger's machine. Dude. Heidegger, Scarlet. Oh. Scarlet's the head of the weapons department at Chinra. Heidegger is the head of the military. Hey, Redman, welcome. <laughs> Good, cool job. Oh, is that a sword in its back? Like it? It's the proud clod. What the hell kind of name is that? The worst name for a killer robot. <laughs> Proud Claude. What does Claude even mean? Mine for fish. I need to play those games. Uh, I've never played Tron Bomb. It's like the worst name for this thing. Proud Claude. Yeah. Has four arms. No Claude. No, I just pointed out that it had four arms. That was cool. <laughs> I thought it was cool, man. Redman, when's the last time you played FF7? Standard question. Got some people who've never played it before. People who play it on the regular. People who speedrun it. People who've been a really long time. Get a white man. Katie's an artist, so she's not impressed by its design. T Tetsuya Nomura was on a. I was having an interesting day when you designed that guy. Proud Claude. <laughs> you, just, you keep wincing whenever I say his name. And this is uh, Bahamut Zero. Bahamut. They, the summons in Final Fantasy games starting with 7 have obscene, ridiculous cutscenes. Yeah, we went to um, Hironobu Sakaguchi, the Final Fantasy creator, went to his panel at PAC and he was talking about how when they made this game, one of the team had any idea how to do 3D games. They just kind of kludged it all together and it's a miracle that it works. <laughs> I hear you mind for fish. Nice, Redman, that's awesome. Once a year since 97. I've played this game a lot, but it's maybe been six or seven years since I played it last. I feel like if I had had... Yes, one. If I had had this game... You had a PS1 and you didn't have Final Fantasy VII? Well, I guess I had a PS2. Oh, that, well... No, I don't think that counts. It, you have to go back to the PS1. PS1 and N64 graphics have aged the worst of any system. Because, like, I love Spyro. Yeah. Which also has shitty graphics. Um, Spyro can get away with having shitty graphics, I think. No, I feel like, right, because I told you this. When it was Christmas, we go up to the video game counter, me and my sister, and we ask them, what's a good game that we should play? And they gave us the fucking Spice Girls game, which was fun, but, like, if he had suggested this one, I would have played it. I probably would have liked it. Motherfuckers, man. I told him I liked Spyro. Patriarchy. Oh, 
I, well, okay, so I am fine with the PS1 and N64 graphics. They don't bug me. I just think that they've aged the most poorly. Like, there still has to be one that aged the most poorly, right? Because if you discount Atari 2600. Like, I think Super Nintendo games look great. They look as good today. That's pretty good. The dragon? Mm. Works. There's another universe where there's a Patriot game. The guy recommends it. Oh yeah, man. How close did you miss it, Five Burner? Did you just not talk to enough guards, or...? Knee fire! It's firing from his knee. Boom! I'm gonna hit that hard. You know what he needs? A flamethrower. You know a great place for a flamethrower? Oh, I, there was there was a vote. The other option was Sid. We got a whole bunch of eyes. Uh, I think it's pronounced like Deek. You know, like the company that produced uh, Spectre Gadget. <laughs> I agree, Redmond. I think it was a problem. It was like, oh well, you're a girl, so <laughs> clearly you should play the Spice Girls game and not like a good game. Why would you do that, man? Inspire greatness in everyone. This is the proud Claude? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Someone to tell us. That's why I'm that's why I'm blaming that guy. I don't think you should work in a game store, you know what you're talking about. I feel like somebody who does that. You know what you should really play? Barbie Dreamhouse. That teaches you valuable lessons. Like you know what you do in the library? I forget. Yeah, so check this out. Oh, Bar you try to find your MP3 player. Yeah. Barbie Dreamhouse for the Wii U. They... T you, it's basically Mario Party in Barbie's Dreamhouse. Ooh, Miss Steel. This is a pretty important item for speedrunners. I'll show you why. And actually, interestingly, it doesn't say it on the item itself, but it gives you a 50% chance for attacks to miss you. So when you're speedrunning and you're not leveled up, it's pretty important to things not hit you. Uh, so people will try to get that to increase their chances of surviving and not having to reload their save. Oh, uh, Robert, did you see the video of the Rama summon in Final Fantasy XV? Holy Why crap. It's my second save slot. You always gotta make a save before she goes. Catchy. <laughs> Bezelbug! <laughs> oh my god, Andrew, you get stuff weird, like you call Setzer Seltzer and like General Sell is General So, like but. The robot in Big Hero 6. Baymax? Yeah, that's it! Bezelbug? <laughs> it's like the Lord of the Flies. It's like another name for Satan. Beelzebub. Oh. Bezelbug. Uh, I highly encourage anyone in chat who hasn't watched the uh, video from Final Fantasy XV of the Rama summon to Google it. It's super cool. It's really ridiculous. The game's about a bunch of bros driving around fighting monsters. I don't really know anything else about it. It's like Grand Theft Auto Final Fantasy. Eight inch cannon. This way, Cord. <laughs> that is Betamax. Harry, baby! Betamax actually had a chance. Like HD DVD. Ooh, are these like Soldier First Classes? Yeah. Sword of Doom. Shit. That's a good name. <laughs> Not Proud Claude. Proud Claude. Damn, he hits really hard. You hit this Can you see okay? Buddy Romeo's over. Probably gonna play a game tomorrow during the free play block. What were you about to say? Oh yeah? Okay, cool. Let's do it.
Thanks for the link, Burner. Ooh, Redmond is uh, FF15 going to be a console exclusive? I hadn't heard that yet. If it comes out, I mean, I'll, I'm going to stream it the day it comes out regardless. It's, it looks like a cool game. So if that means I have to get a PS4 or a Xbox One, I will. I just haven't purchased either of those consoles because all the games that I want to play are also on PC. Or Wii U. <laughs> Free play block is nothing but Barbie. Aw, yeah. We're better at it than we should probably do Barbie Dreamhouse. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna try to hook up the uh, microphone so everybody can be heard. No. Test it in the morning. Yeah, Redman, do you know is, is FF15 a console exclusive or is it coming for PC as well? Yeah, I heard that, Katie. Yeah, ten two is your. Can I get to you? What's the girl version of Sausage Fest? Okay. Same big. <laughs> Man, so is that actually a thing, or did you just produce that immediately? It might be a thing. But you also independently produced well, it. I might have been able good. to produce it. It's actually a thing. Interesting. I know most of the game is like a bro down, so. I mean, I'm okay with that. I I hope that I'm sure there will be female NPCs in the game. So as long as they're handled well, uh, Tetsuya Nomura doesn't have the best history with that. Like Tifa was a little bit ridiculous in Crisis Core. Uh, did I not get Barrett's ultimate weapon? Did I screw something up? Oh, I think he needs to be in your party. <laughs> Do I care enough to go back? I don't. I'm not going to use Barrett. This is our end game party. We're let it go. Kid Marstead wouldn't be okay with that, though. Got you, Redmond. Well, yes, I guarantee you I will be playing it on release day, even if that means I have to pick up one of those consoles. I just haven't seen any games for either of those two consoles Taco that Fiesta. I've needed a PC for. I like Clambake better. Taco Fiesta is pretty good. Clambake is much more. <laughs> Elegant. I was gonna say it's worse. You think Taco Fiesta is worse? Clambo slimy and <laughs> the smell is probably closer for uh -huh. a large portion. That's of what I'm saying. Clam, clam bake is better. Yeah. It's more accurate. Not like classier. Well, it's not classier. It's more elegant. Oh, just stop being a dick. This one was like trying to splice crossfit. Yeah. He tries to splice Eris in Red 13. Add acid. Mind soccer. Yeah, Hojo is basically Sephiroth's dad. Holy crap! Spoils. Yeah, spliced himself with yeah, and then implanted it in this chick, Lucretia. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, you think about it this way, like, a story of a bro-down is a valid story. You know, hey, the clam bake in Final Fantasy X-2 is also a valid story. Like, I just hope that the NPC female characters are good. To what characters? Oh, ten two. Yeah, no, I agree. Just don't even make that related to Final Fantasy ten. Oh, awesome. When I you should um take that point. We're talking science over like, here. Like small error bars are awesome. Yeah. Oh, I've got cool. to play the Thank Genova you. music here. Alright. But yeah, I got air bars on here. It's hella small. There's I got so much data! Phase one of Pojo. 
I don't think I've ever gotten a Hojo without already having Knights of the Round. This was probably my first time where I'm just gonna like one shot him. Just interesting. Playing that sweet Genova boss music. I always like it when people can say like, yeah, you can't see my air bars here because they're so small, they're so smaller than the like, dots that I can see. <laughs> I mean, that attack is usually translated as a mighty guard rather than big guard. Just before they really got their handle on that. Oh yeah, mighty guard's sweet. Like shell, protect, and haste. On this one. And haste, nice. Yeah, pretty sweet. Haste is permanent in this game too. Big long attack cutscene. Bahamut is from Sumerian mythology, as is Tiamat. Although Tiamat is no I don't think Tiamat's ever a summon. He's in a Final Fantasy or she is in a Final Fantasy game, she's a villain. Have you seen Sephiroth's final attack, Supernova? <laughs> That's the one I'm talking about, yeah, but you haven't seen the attack. There's this crazy, like, meteor that, like, blows up all the planets on its way to the Earth. And then it's like, it, like, I think it even destroys the sun. And then it, like, hits you and does, like, 900 damage, and you just keep fighting. Deal. Oh, shit. What the hell? You win? Kinda. Hojo Part 2. <laughs> That's a gross Genova infused Hojo. Uh, Queen of Bows? Question mark? Anyone know their uh, Tiamat lore? Depends on what you're playing. If you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, she's the Queen of Dragons. Queen of the Chromatic Dragons, so she has five heads, one for each other. Chromatic Dragon colors, so she's very evil. Uh, Kamer Shadow's got it right. Daenerys is Kelly C. A lot of show watchers call her Kelly C. I don't know that her name is Daenerys. I thought her name was Kelly C. Mm -hmm. I like Kelly <laughs> Well, the, no one actually calls her Danny, but in the books, when it's from her perspective, that's how she thinks of herself as Danny. So you see that very often. God's probably reasonable. He's got an attack called, uh, kind of like, basically it's double hit. He has a ribbon equipped, so he's immune to that. Which is kind of gross looking. This is all very, uh, Akira Toriyama of them. He likes to do, like, when you're having form changes, having the second form being all crazy and complicated. The final form is all minimalistic. It's like a full avatar. Yeah, blue avatar. Like the James Cameron avatar? Yeah, right, they have, like, a break thing where they can, like, morph the merge. Dude, this is pretty OP. Cloud has an ability called Cover, where he'll like take damage for somebody else, but he also has an ability called Counterattack. Nice. So they stack. Yeah. So you'll see that he's counterattacking here. Tojo is attacking Red 13 multiple times to get a counter proc on each one. But this isn't going to be useless since he's already hasted. for Hojo.
man. Finally mastered our first materia. Those are uh, restore materia. Hey, Melocity, how's it going? When you master a materia, it makes another one. So, like, if you get your cure materia to maximum level, you get a new cure materia that's at level zero. You can start leveling that up. Ever done? No. Well, you, you consider yourself done when you've mastered every materia, so that everyone can equip one. He did. Sid curses a lot. Cool. That's what I look like, dude. Yeah, I see a genie. Oops. Genie ghost. Alright, we're about to get disc three here. Hooves. They're not hooves. <laughs> you see, like, they're trying to show he's got a shoulder pad and a gauntlet. Got hooves. Hey, Raiden, welcome. Yeah, I like the Master Command Materia. I think I have, well, I need, still need W summon, which would require quite a bit of grinding in the battle arena. Is that us trying to destroy the world? Right. So Bye. Sephiroth's deal is that, oh, you didn't get this far in this game, right? Uh, but this was a bedtime story and you don't remember? Well, you did go to job. And I fell asleep. <laughs> fell asleep. Basically, the Mako energy that Shinra is harvesting is something called the life stream. Uh -huh. When people die, their souls return to the planet. Okay. And that's the energy that they're using to like make electricity and stuff. So it's kind of messed up because they're actually consuming that energy instead of recycling it. Uh, anyway, when the planet... Are there like, less people being born? People get born, do they like get their souls from the life stream? Basically. The... So if there's nothing left in the life stream... They... Right. And part of it is that the planet itself is a thinking entity, and when it when it is damaged, it uses the life stream to repair itself. Okay. So Sephiroth is calling down Meteor, huh? with the intention of being at the center of its impact, surviving the impact, there being this giant gaping wound in the planet, and all of the life stream gathering in one place, so he can absorb it and become like a super god. Why would he want to be that? Would everything else on the planet die? Pretty much, but he can be super god. Of what? The ashes. He'd watch everything burn if he could be king of the ashes. That makes sense. Well, Genova is like a traveling space alien monster, like Cthulhu monster that falls on the planet. So maybe he wants to become a traveling space alien monster who's like way sweeter than she was. Oh, already? Yeah, but he wouldn't be as rad. He's trying to increase his rad factor. <laughs> like how you're you're questioning me up to the point where it's like no. Sephiroth's trying to increase his rad factor, and you're like, okay. That's a that's an acceptable explanation. This is the part where debatably Cloud and Tifa do it. It's like a mass effect. Where you go and yeah, final mission. Right, but there's no like cutscene that pissed off Fox News, this one. So he's expecting that no one's going to come back and that that's how the game's going to end. Everyone's going to leave the airship and go home. Loud. Yeah, probably Burner. You're playing the Super Nintendo version. I'm playing on the GBA, so the translation's a little bit different. I think it's much less clear that he's puking in the SNES version. Yeah. Should be Team Tifa anyway, like, Eris is Zack's girlfriend, and Cloud and Tifa have known each other for a long time, it's much more appropriate. Yeah, so look at Cloud's eyes now, and then look at Cloud's eyes again after we fade to black and come back. It's rad graphics.
Yay! Cloud and Tifa. Yeah, but I'm like, but but Tifa, I didn't level you up, so it actually is a problem if they don't come back. You can be happy, but they haven't. You haven't been in my party, girl. Better, Katie. Good to see you. Have a good night. Okay. Latro. No, the stars, stars can't hear us. <laughs> Claude just did like a big sigh. Like, I don't know. Perseverance. <laughs> it's like he's a puppy. That hurts. Better get some sleep. Got his eyes. So it doesn't play the good night music. It plays the wind music. Maybe they just cuddled. I guess the most explicit banging scene in Final Fantasy is probably Yuna and Titus. And they're like swimming under the water, the sphere tree. Yeah, I thought they were just like made out a little. Well, it's not, it's not explicit, but it's like people say that Disney movies, when they sing a duet, that that's code for they did it. Anyway. It would be an appropriate scene. If it was Mass Effect, that's what would have happened. playing tomorrow probably get well I kind of need to grind chocobo racing to get the ultimate summon and go fight the optional bosses so I probably won't beat it tomorrow but probably next week Thursday and Friday so his eyes are more bugged out slightly it's an internet thing yeah I don't know Robert he's like really awake it's it's not explicit but it would make sense. Hey, he just did some Zack squats. Nobody came back. Where? No. I think that no one came back on the ship. They all went home to say bye to their families, and he expected that none of them would actually come back for the final mission. Because Cloud is like, I don't want anyone to go on this mission unless if you're accepting the fact that it will be, we could die. Hey, everybody's back! Hooray! Barrett, Sid! <laughs> Why is there a slot machine, Zach? <laughs> we haven't answered that yet. Mind for Fish, did you watch the very last uh, video for Crisis Core? I don't remember if you were there live. The slot machine thing was kind of annoying, but in that final battle, it kind of sold it. Vincent! Who is Vincent? He turns into like a devil man. He's like a Turk. He's like genetic experiment Turk turns into a devil man. Devilman. He's a good devil. He's uh he's Spike from Buffy. Without yeah, without that. Hey, catch it's back. So 
a common phrase in Japanese, like, I'll work hard or I'll do my best. Or like, ask, telling someone that they should do their best is like the highest form of praise you can give to someone. Doofy. Oof. That's Yuffie. So in Crisis Core, when they had Yuffie, she did that same animation, but like less shitty looking. So graphics are improved. The very last battle, Mine for Fish, in uh, Crisis Core completely justifies the weird slot machine system, I think. They use it for a storytelling purpose, and it's pretty cool. Get back for your spiky-headed ass. Cool, Barrett. Yosh. <laughs> now it's playing the sad Eris music. Yeah, Robert, did you ever play Crisis Core, the prequel? <laughs> so beautiful, and so in time with what's in my <laughs> headphones right now. She can't hear the game, right? Because it's just through my headphones. <laughs> Something stopped her and she's stuck. So, when people die, they return to the planet. It's like a reincarnation kind of a thing. Yeah. So, Eris summoned Holy, but Sephiroth oh, is blocking Holy? No, Sephiroth summoned Meteor. Oh, she's blocking. Okay. The game, Mind for Fish, the game is still a BT Dub slot machine, but the ending is it justifies it, even though it's still a mystery. I still don't know why there's a slot machine. I don't know why my buddy Sang is flying in on a helicopter in the middle of a cave. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I it's agree, Robert. I really like the ending of Crisis Square. Our enemy is Sephiroth. <laughs> That's the one. That's him. Graphics! You're all tabs. Yeah, he's fighting this, like, ancient demon monster. He's gotta do a little dance in combat because the slot machine told him to. Disc three time. Stick it to him. Blonde. Let's really go blow this ass. guy. He really matched his meat. We really licked his ass. Let's motor smash and kicked his ass. Wait. <laughs> you guys seen uh, Demolition Man? You should see it. It's a great movie. This is a rap burger? What's my boggle? <laughs> Very good one eye. All right, end of disc two, right on time too. We got about five minutes left, but I don't think we're gonna make much progress in five minutes. So I'll go ahead and save here, switch discs, save again after the disc has been switched. One sec, guys. There's no. Is there a pretty? Please insert disc three sign. There is. Cool. Tufa. Oh, you. My name is Tufa because Hapex misspelled it. <laughs> right. Now, actually, I don't want to go down there. I want to go ride chocobos for about six hours or however long it's going to take. So, even though it seems pretty critical that we got to go stop Sephiroth, Sephiroth, I want to go ride chocobos for six hours. So, see you later, uh, North Crater. I know it's not very epic for me to just turn around and leave. <laughs> He's max level pilot now. Way to go, pilot in training. 
<laughs> that follows the reasoning I gave you earlier, but, but no. Man, airships all crazy now. It doesn't move any faster though, that was just for show. But we really gotta go, we gotta shed stuff from the airship to make it go faster and then turn around and ride chocobos for six hours. I know, it. priorities are important here, man. It wouldn't be frustrating if there was like actually a countdown when something climactic happened in a JRPG. They're like, yeah, you can go do the chocobos, but if you do that for a certain amount of time, yeah, well, Sephiroth's just gonna if win. The, like music is really suspenseful. And no, I just turn around. Suspenseful. If there is not a timer, I yeah. don't care. Right, someone could be hanging from a cliff, and I'm yeah, gonna go like, back yeah, to whatever. town and buy some potions There's and stuff. Still time. All right, guys, uh, let me let you know what the plan is for tomorrow, and a brief preview of next week. Thanks everybody for joining. Good to be back streaming. Okay, so tomorrow, 12 to 2 is gonna be Final Fantasy 7. Probably not gonna beat the game. Probably gonna race some chocobos or fight Ruby Weapon or something. That means we'll likely beat the game next week, Thursday and Fridays. So we'll come back with Final Fantasy 7. Nice that you're honest with them. Yeah. Two to four is Metroid Prime. Uh, we may very likely beat Metroid Prime as we have all the upgrades. We just need to get four more artifacts and then go to the end of the game. So it's very possible. And then four to six tomorrow is free play with these two. Uh, Andrea, my wife, and our good friend Romeo is here, who's off screen. You can't see him. We're gonna, I'm gonna set up the camera and the microphone. We're gonna play some Wii U games, probably Barbie Dreamhouse, get hype, yes. uh, along with like better Mario games, Kart. Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and some other yeah. cool multiplayer stuff. Uh, so hang on for that. Next week, Monday and Tuesday, we're bringing back uh, Okami and Final Fantasy Tactics, along with probably some more Final Fantasy VI. Uh, and then next week, Wednesday, I'm playing. Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO for the first time with my buddies Haypax, uh, likely Matso, and Flarewing. Uh, so if you haven't seen Final Fantasy XIV yet and you want to check it out, even if you're not really an MMO person, it might be cool to just see what the story is like. We'll be playing it completely from scratch. We have no idea what we're getting into. Pretty excited about it. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.